Good morning, guys. Today we're going to be doing a Burrito Reacts video to Big Tairaku. Big shout out to him. I genuinely like him as a content creator. He seems like a pretty cool guy. And I do like his content. I do watch him on a regular basis as well. He came out with this video. Big game shuts down in the US. Raid won't last forever either. I thought that was interesting. I wanted to dive into this, watch it. But I also wanted to, I guess, watch it with you guys so we could or at least I could like give you my thoughts as I'm watching them or as I'm watching this play out. Um, so yeah, let's just go ahead and dive right in. Today, I wanna just have a conversation. So there's a game in the similar genre to Raid, Dragonair, which is shutting down for the US. Huh? Now, first thing, if the thumbnail title of the what? video- and Dragon, hold on. No, cause Dragonair was, was pretty big, right? I remember seeing Smiley do work on it. Um, yeah, there was a lot of content creators who were doing sponsorships and releasing videos on it. That's crazy that it's going to shut down in the U.S. What? Insinuated that Raid is going to be shutting down. I don't believe Raid shutting down anytime soon. Yeah, no. But this is something you have to consider. When you're playing live service mobile games, there will be an end day. Eventually, for base. Yeah, that's, that's true. Um, uh, and it, it makes me think about Halo 2. I don't know how how old any of you guys are. I know there's a lot of uh, younger people. Actually, no, the, the demographics of the people who watch me are like around my age range and a little bit older too. Um, so you, a lot of you guys will probably remember like Halo, Halo 2, but basically uh, Halo, <laughs> Halo shut down the servers so you couldn't do online anymore. But like that was, I think that was my first realization that like, oh, live service, shit isn't gonna last forever but yeah i don't think raid is gonna last forever either now i'm gonna play it out and i'm gonna run with it for as long as i can but i i do realize and i know that nothing lasts forever so he's not wrong raid won't last forever either um you know the i i can't help but think about fateless you know hell hades is game when he comes out with it and that his entire team uh, comes out with that game do I think it's going to kill Raid? Probably not. I, I don't, I mean, it kind of depends on how it's received, how it's executed and how it's received. I'm willing to try it out. I'm willing to cover content on it. I I think it's going to be a, a, a really good game, specifically because of where the game is coming from. It's coming from, you know, people who are in the same community that we kind of grew up in, uh, depending on how long you've been playing Raid. So I'm excited for that. I don't know if it's going to kill Raid, but, you know, I think it's going to be a contender. I think it has the potential there. But even then, I think Raid is going to perseverate further. I mean, there's a reason why they still allow Hell Hades on uh, on the team. And, you know, be to be a Raid content creator. I don't know. Maybe they don't really see him and his game as a quote-unquote threat. I don't know what the business lingo is or what that corporate world looks like. But to me, just like a regular dude... I would be like, oh, they probably think you're not a threat, so that's why they're not tripping over it. You know what I mean? Basically all these games, whether the players all move away, whether the company decides to stop focusing on the game, mm. or if the country you're living in decides, hey, we don't want this game here anymore, they're gonna shut it down. Oh, that's fucked up. That's so fucked up. But yeah, <laughs> I mean, that was one of the discussions that we had in um, you know, one of my videos where I talked about his raid dying. Somebody commented like, yeah, they're probably not going to just straight up just shut the game down. I think what uh, he was saying that I think what they're going to do is they're going to milk all the Krakens for as hard as they can. One last big one. And then slowly they're just going to peel off. They're going to peel off and slowly stop investing in the game and move on to the next project. What was the prospect for for games? Like, I, I wonder what that what that looks like. Like, how long does the average mobile live service game last right and i i mean i guess we could we could we could just ask right here right let me just pull this to the side how long does the average um mobile game last what's the how long is a mobile game's average life cycle so let's let's check this out right here four years ago this was posted so we've come a long way in gaming Far gone are the days of purchasing a game, and it is yours forever. Out of curiosity, in your opinion, 
How long do you expect a game that you like to be left out on the market with updated content and live servers? A game I was playing daily, Pokemon Duel, cut down or closed down last year, and there is still a void in my life from it. Please share your thoughts. It depends on the game. If the game is offline and does not depend on external servers, you can basically be, uh, you can play forever unless a new version of Android comes up. Uh, blah 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 blah. True. Summoner Wars is already at six years. Okay, so four years ago, Summoner's War was at six years. So it's like what ten years now? It's at it's at its ten ten year tenth year. Invest in offline games, mostly episodic ones. Some online games seem to live forever, but they are dead the second they don't have an update for at least six months. Other online games will live forever if they have a strong fan base, mostly PVE content, or invest strongly in new content. Mobius FF uh, depends. Buy a game full price. There's a pay to win. Uh, RIP Knights of Pen and Paper 2. If it's hit, it would stay for a decade. If it wasn't five years at max, Clash Royale indie game 2, mostly premium. Uh, let's see, it depends. Most of the games get removed after a long time, about five years. So I'm seeing a lot of five years here. What is this? Uh, ba -ba -ba, pad has lasted for a while. So I'm seeing somewhere between five and ten years tops, just on this post alone. But if you guys have uh, other insights, let me know. I believe most mobile games are going to have a lifespan. Unlike a game where oh. many years ago you go to the store, pick it up from the store. He's doing... <laughs> if I had waited a little bit longer, he would have answered the question for me. Put it in. CD, you keep it forever. Nobody's oh, gonna bro, show it down. yeah. Nobody's going to take it from you. It's completely... Dude, you know, I, I can hear it right now. You guys ever play the first PlayStation? Or you ever play Sega? Sega. Or not Sega. What am I saying? Uh, the, uh, yeah, Sega Genesis. What am I talking about? I remember playing uh, Super Mario. Or not Super Mario. Um, Sonic, the Hedgehog. Or um, on PlayStation 1, that, that, that when you turn it on. Oh, bro, that was, that was legendary. Really different with these online-only games. So today... We're going to take a look. I want to show first the income of Dragonair to give you some context of what may have happened. I've heard some stuff about ByteDance and Tencent and the uh, uh, whole TikTok ban potential, mm -hmm. which is a reason why Dragonair may have stopped service in the U.S. specifically. Dragonair is still up and running in all the other countries, but they're cut off the U.S., which that may essentially kill the game anyways, but I don't really know. I haven't played the game. That's crazy. Like, really let that sink. Let that sit down. Like, sit down with that for a minute and think about that. There are Krakens. Absolute fucking Cthulhu's. Who invest, quote unquote, in these games. I was one of them. I'm not, not a complete Kraken, but like somebody who spent a lot of freaking money in Raid. And imagine one day, they're just like, yeah, we're not gonna let you play this game anymore. Which is exactly what happened to Dragonair. All these people from the U.S. who <laughs> who bought stuff in this quote, look, look, look at this free game here are no longer going to have access to it. That's insane. I'm enough, but I did do a video a long time ago on a sponsor for the game. Mm -hmm. Now I got a video from scratch. I want to share some of the comments of, but in case you don't know what Dragonair is whatsoever, let me show you some of this video. Just a little short snippet. Essentially Dragonair was more or less an idle RPG game with some D and D type mechanics in the game. Yeah. So I think we're aware about what it is. Um, it was, I think it was Dragonair and Watcher of Realms. They both came out at the same, around the same time, I think. Actually, no, let's listen to what he has to say. In the game, it. Hero Collector, and they had some really good graphics, honestly. The game looks solid. I wasn't going to play it because it, the style of it wasn't exactly what I like, yeah. and Ray takes enough time as it is, so I really couldn't dedicate time yeah. to Dragonair, but it seemed like a game. If I wasn't playing Raid, that would have been interested in, honestly. Yeah. The graphics look good, which is a big thing for me when it comes to games. Now, looking at the revenues, though, Newverse Games, which is the publisher of Dragonair, essentially. I think they were sold a few times, but either way, that's who's holding it right now. Go to Sensor Tower, you can see the income. Very, very loose income. This is specifically for Android. They probably have sales over on Steam. Maybe they have their own launcher. Similar thing with Plarium. A lot of purchases come through Plarium Play. Yeah. So Android and Apple aren't the, they aren't the whole picture, basically. So with Dragonair, we have revenue last month, $400,000, which is a lot of money. But when you look at Polarium, 
revenue last month. It's $9 million. Holy so, moly. Ray making way more money than Dragonair, but Dragonair isn't making nothing. Like, that's quite a bit of money. Yeah, for sure. Um, now, I don't know how much it costs to actually develop those games, so maybe it's not that much. Who knows? But if we look at one of Plarium's games that have been out for a very long time, actually released in 2015, it's making a million dollars last month. Vikings War of Clans. So that gives you a little bit of context. Dragonair released, I believe, a little over a year ago. So if they drop down to $400,000 last month in revenue, now this is currently not showing the US on their revenue. So I don't know if it's actually including it in the revenue last month or not, because if you look at this list, United States is no longer there. So oh, wow. something to be aware of. But when it comes to games shutting down on their Discord, or sorry, not the Discord, on their Reddit page, they posted about the game being shut down. But before this, they had no announcements that, hey, Dragonair is going through hard times. I think if you played the game, you could probably get a feel for how the community was, whether it was thriving or if it was kind of slowing down. So maybe players could have saw this coming. Oh, what's this? Is he fucking with the first descendant? I uh, I know a guy uh, who who's heavily into that game right now. I, I want to try it out, but yeah, it was that in Once Human. I think they both came out around the same time. Been wanted to try it out, but I've been seeing some bad stuff about it. But it's not a complete shutdown of the game. Instead, it's specifically shutting down for US servers. So if you're somebody playing in the US, you can't play it no more. And yeah. VPNs aren't gonna allow you to actually get Bro, back. Bro, right, right here, time for some legal chargebacks. What a waste of time and money on both sides. US will just be the start. The discontinuation, as far as I know, is due to the US FTC. Actually, he's gonna read this. Game, I don't know all the details, but essentially players down here are just all of a sudden they woke up one day and hey, the last year that you've spent inside of our game, the thousands of dollars you may have spent is yeah. basically all for nothing. But this is something that I also want to let you know when playing Raid that you kind of got to keep in mind because with our accounts, while you feel like you have amazing champions, you may feel like, okay, I got all these awesome champions. I spent all this time in the game. In reality, you own absolutely nothing. Every dollar you put into Raid is their dollar now. You could possibly get it refunded in the future, but everything you invest, every hour, every minute, every dollar, mm. everything you invest is theirs, okay? Ray can today take our accounts away from us and there's really nothing we can do about it. Oh yeah, no, 100%, bro. Like, and and we can see it right here, right? Let's just, let's just, um, here, log into this account here. And um, like, oh boy. That that's huge, right? Because we we've probably spent even just the dollar. Like uh, I'm I don't know of too many people who are actually full true free to play, right? Because there there are some people out there who who you know buy the gem pack. That's not free to play. That's technically you know low spender. You're a guppy. Um, but like for example, take a look at this account, right? Some money's been put into this account. All right, Siffy, Rodos, double, um, what do you call it? There's a double Trunda, double Arbiter, Yumiko, Warlord, Kronar, uh, Xena, obviously. So it's like, um, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's not ours. And it's crazy for me to even sit here talking about it, conceptualizing it, because it's like, I, was feeding into this too. Like I haven't spent in a long time, but like I, I fed into this. I fed into the whole um, like, you know, oh, it's an investment. Oh, oh, oh here's an another thing I didn't mention in my other video, like rationalization. I rationalized spending money in Raid. I, I rationalized spending a lot of money in Raid, especially when I became a content creator, when I started doing YouTube, cause I was like, oh, it's a tax write off or oh, um, you know, I make money back from it, which I do, by the way, like there, there are perks to me playing raid and making content aside from me actually like just genuinely loving the game. But dude, like they could just, yeah, they could be like, oh, you know, we, we don't want to, uh, play, like, let you guys play raid anymore. We're, we're shutting down raid and that's it. That, yeah. Or I mean, even the whole discussion about the game being a live service and they need to have servers one day they could just completely with a whisper just stop 
those ser servers, like shut down the, sh the servers. So even if they're not as big as, as what they used to, like, like, I don't know, five years down the line, like accounts that are 10 years old will ultimately amount to nothing. Accounts, those shared accounts, those shared Kraken accounts where Kraken spend hundreds of thousands of dollars into them and then they sell it and then the next hundreds of thousand dollars goes into it from another Kraken, those accounts going to end up to be uh, absolutely nothing. And it's just, it's just a, not a weird thought, but it's one of those like, wow, this is an interesting perspective. Now, do I think they're not, gonna... not something that I think about on a daily basis and do that? No, I don't see any reason why they would. Oh, they're making the it I don't think most players expected for Dragonair all of a sudden to just shut down. I want to show a few comments from Scratch's video. So this top comment, this actually is a user who used to comment on my raid videos, but they moved over to Dragonair and they said, I think I'm weird that I'm going to finish up my current season on both accounts. I'm heartbroken. This is my favorite game I've played in years. Mm. So a lot of you could probably relate to something similar. I mean, a lot of us play raid every single day. I mean, you're watching a YouTube video yeah. on raid about some random stuff. So I'd say you're pretty committed to raid and you enjoy the game. You probably played for years as well. Um, but there could be a day where you wake up and maybe raids just not around anymore and maybe it just drops. So keep in mind, keep that in the back of your mind whenever you're making purchases, whenever you're doing anything in the game, this is not to say don't make those purchases, don't do that stuff, don't have fun, because I do think you should definitely enjoy the game and definitely have Oh, fun. hell yeah. Fucking have fun, bro. Go ahead and buy that alcohol. Go out and, and, and you know, have that dinner. Go watch that movie. Go hang out with your friends. Go have a good time. I'm all about it, bro. But um, I would say also just like, like he's saying, keep in the back of your mind uh the return that you're gonna actually get because there is a there is a point of diminishing returns in terms of and there's also like you, you could factor in opportunity costs as well and, and that's a whole other discussion but like think about i guess how much you would gain back from spending like 20 dollars in raid versus like spending 20 dollars i don't know buying a burrito I mean, maybe, maybe that's not the best thing or a hundred dollars in raid versus like a hundred dollars taking my wife out you know what i mean i'm going to get more long term more depth more value spending that money on my wife than i am going to get from spending it in raid and i'm not saying like this is not financial advice obviously i'm not telling you how to spend your money but i'm, I'm just providing perspective that's what i usually do with these burrito react type of um shits where i just kind of like ramble on and give you my thoughts on it and you know it, it resonates with a lot of people darren for an example loves to post entire essays <laughs> on my videos it like check out most of my videos there's one guy who comments like entire like he he's a he's dedicated bro he goes in but like a lot of what i say resonates with him and that's cool and like a lot of what i say resonates with a great majority of you guys so you know by the way thank you guys for all the comments i love having these conversations with you guys uh it's it's really nice to be able to sit here and, and talk with you guys I, I can't um like explain how great that is have fun whatever that means to you but it is to say there could be a day where it just disappears for example next comment i'm from the us and really enjoy this game however uh, I'm not going to play for much longer. Already deleted from my phone. Very disappointed. It. Thanks for all your content to scrap. Okay. So a lot of people were saying that they're from the U.S. They really want to continue playing. They played for a while. The first time in months that their luck's actually looking up. And now the game's just dropping off. So a lot of positive comments, but a lot of stuff like, hey, this, this really sucks. Like I was spending yeah. a lot of time in this game for a long time. And now all of a sudden it's just gone. WTF is this. Literally none of it makes sense. At least give some practical explanation. With this website, you can see like a bunch of games shutting down soon. Some of them are more popular than others. Take a look at the game Puzzle and Dragons, specifically oh, in the European and Chinese servers. They were shut down several years back, which that was in 2017 and 2018. Puzzles and Dragons was released in 2012. So they had about five or six years, I believe, if assuming this is all correct, of the game actually running before it got shut down in their respective areas. So essentially, I guess the whole purpose of this video is not to discourage you from playing raid because that doesn't really make sense i mean if you think about it anything you do is going to be fleeting enjoyment essentially right so like if true you, if you were to go out and i don't know say go to the park and play a game of tennis i don't know if that's fun maybe it's fun for you it's going to be there for a little while and then it's not going to be playing raid 
It's going to be here for a little while, and it's not going to be. But as long as you enjoy the time you have... Bro, I feel like I'm having a conversation with Ty. Like, I, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. But it's interesting because, like, we're talking about the same things. And I'm talking ahead of him just because I, I, I can pause his video and everything. But I really feel like if Ty and I had a conversation, we'd probably be saying the same things. Imagine if... Nah, nah, it's, it's, he, wouldn't, he wouldn't collab with a guy like me. I feel all like philosophical now, so I'm gonna get off the soapbox in just a moment. But essentially, if you enjoy playing the game, enjoy it, but don't expect for it to be here forever. I guess that's the roundabout point of my message. But guys, this is something I wanted to bring to your attention because who knows? I don't know the exact details as to why Dragonair is shutting down specifically in the US, but even if the game is thriving and doing very well, there could be legal changes in your country where the game's not available. We literally saw it happen in Raid years ago where all the Russian servers got they stopped, right? Oh like, yeah. Raid is not it's not delivered in Russia no more, correct? I believe that's true, which obviously that makes sense. Understandable for the thing that's but going still, on. Still, hey, those players playing it, they had nothing to do with the whole political climate, the whole war, all that kind of stuff that's going on. The terrible situations over there, for sure, but still those players Is that is the is that whole situation still happening over there in uh, Russia and, and Ukraine? I'm I'm just curious. I think not too long ago, our president sent them more money while our education system here in America still sucks. So I don't know where he's getting. Oh, wait, taxpayers. That's right. Just curious. There's nothing to do with that. Let's see. So Russia. Yeah. I don't know if yeah. Russia would even pop up there, but Ukraine will. Yeah. So either way, see, that's an excellent example with Ray, obviously. I don't expect that. To <laughs> By the way, I love Ukraine. They gave me Tarsh and Mariska happened in the US, but you never know. But with an example in RAID, you can see it right here. This was two years ago, RAID, Belarus. Russia and Belarus. A uh, statement from Plarium, as a response to the ongoing suffering for our employees in Ukraine, Plarium has made the decision to remove all of our games from the app stores and cease accepting Plarium Play and Plarium.com payments in Russia and Belarus. So the game, removed from the app store. So depending on what country you are in, wherever you're at in the world, the game could very well someday, with no, no foresight into this happening, just shut down. So just keep that in mind, guys. But it's like I said, it's by no means saying you shouldn't enjoy the game. You shouldn't have fun because that wouldn't make sense because anything in life is going to move on, right? So, but guys, thank you all very much for watching. Let me know what your thoughts on all of this stuff are. If you think Raid has a long life. Yeah, go ahead and check out his uh, the market. Oh, let's 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 read what what uh, people are saying here. Oh, here's Sam. The market is going to be flooded with cheap Kraken accounts. That's true different ballpark the game never even came close to the same heights raid did that's true seems dead or alive to be honest next one is going to be watcher of realms maybe hey gavin ngl even though i'm four years into raid and even have my own channel now part of me is secretly looking forward to the end of raid gavin how dare you it's just a huge uh huge time sink and i know i could be doing so much more with my life it's even adversely affecting my sleep cycle i'm never playing another gotcha game again swear to god long as i live what bro you used to be a writer <laughs> if you guys saw that collab collab i did you, you guys will will get I, I did i did a collab with gavin <laughs> next time you see a kraken in chat on raid thank them they're part of the reason why raid is still going exactly this is becoming problematic with an actual pc game you don't yeah uh all games like this will get shut down probably affected by the crowd strike too they just announced the ninjas coming back looks like we still have more years left Never realized there was such a massive difference in profit from Raid to Dragon. Oh, yeah. It's a huge difference, bro. Take your soapbox moment. Enjoy the game. Don't spend what you can't miss. Surprise, nothing lasts forever. Even we have, a even we all have an expiration date. Uh, fist bump. Hey, Aries. Guess Scratch and Channel. Ashes and Scratch's channel, channel died overnight then. Yeah, they're Dragonair accounts, yeah. But, I mean, that's kind of, that's the whole business when you're doing this. Even Raid is going to probably work. VPN works, bro. Does that actually work? Will that work? Dragonair was boring and tedious. Yeah, I I tried it for like, I don't know, 10 minutes, 15 minutes. And like, I wasn't into it. I don't know what it, what it was.